My research is at the intersection of science and medicine and law and economics. My name is Heidi Williams and I'm an assistant professor of economics at MIT. My research is focused on understanding the causes and consequences of technological change in healthcare markets. One major focus of my work has been trying to understand how patents affect innovation. The patent system is enormously controversial. Um, people who are very serious and thoughtful about what patents do hold opinions ranging from the patent system should be abolished to um, longer and stronger patent rights are really going to be important for economic growth. Unfortunately, that debate largely takes place in a vacuum where people rely on ideologies and theories rather than data and evidence. And so a lot of what I try to do with my work is to fill that void by trying to bring in collections of new data and new types of empirical methodologies that can um, shed rigorous scientific evidence on policy relevant questions about how to better design health and innovation policy. So I think the reason why it's been challenging for people to study innovation policy in the past is that the costs of poorly designed policies are essentially invisible. If a drug doesn't work, you can see it in the sense that patients have worse health outcomes. If patent policies are poorly designed, the cost of that is that there are some ideas that people have that are scientifically feasible, but that are never developed into medical technologies that actually reach consumers. And so a lot of what I try to do is to find ways of matching data and ways of analyzing the data in a way that allows me to essentially try to measure this missing innovation. So things that could exist but don't. We tend to think of innovation as in a very simplified way. You know, there's an inventor in his garage. There's a person that makes a new discovery. Those kinds of simplified features of how the innovation ecosystem works really doesn't often match how innovation happens in practice. It turns out that patents may be good for discovering an initial invention, but they could in theory have costs in terms of um, hindering people's ability to build on that invention in subsequent research. What that's telling you is, is that there are these technologies that exist that people have come up with ideas for, and then we just need to find a better way of figuring out how to design public policies that make it in firms' interest to actually develop those technologies. When I got the call from the MacArthur Foundation, I, I was just uh, completely speechless and uh, overwhelmed. Um, I'm very early in my career, and I, I've really just started to do the kind of work that I feel like I want to do. And to have that kind of vote of confidence put into my work is just incredibly humbling at this stage.